I'm Jack Randall. I'm here in Brazil to look for the largest snake in the world, the green anaconda. Oh. These snakes live deep in the rainforest and not much is known about them. But when building on the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil unearthed a massive anaconda, I had to go investigate. I've assembled a team, Emil Hernandez, data collection scientist, and Nayara Sabrina, producer and research assistant. And we're going to head deep into the jungle. <laughs> on the trail of the world's most massive snake. So we're going to the lake to find a big anaconda and we're traveling down the river. Hopefully we have a nice easy journey along. We're looking for any anacondas along the banks of the river. And there's plenty of other creatures here too. So there's a baby armadillo. He was just crossing the river. So Emil um, studies ticks and, uh, and parasites, and actually there was a little tick on, on the armadillo. So he's going to study the protozoa inside the tick, which is the parasite. Now it's time to release this tick-free little armadillo. <laughs> Next up, we're heading to meet a local who might be able to help us. How often does uh, an anaconda come here? De vez em quando você vê por aí pegando bicho, laçando um pinto, um pato. Um dia desse tinha uma comenda um tio bem aí, rolou, matou o tio. He told us that there's a big snake that lives at the stream of the lake. And um, he said that our boat, even though it is a small speed boat, it won't be able to get there. So we're going to have to take his little wooden boats to get down there. Little canoes here. <laughs> Hold it, we can back. <laughs> <laughs> Even with a top local tip, we can't find the anacondas. It's time for a new tactic. So we're going to our second spot. There's another lake, really still water, which is perfect for the anacondas. So we're going to set up our traps here. So yeah. how, how does it work? Ela entra por esse buraco, procurar comida. Depois ela não tem como retornar. If any snake goes across here, I think we've got a good chance of getting one. checking the traps every three or four hours because they're underwater and we need to make sure that the anacondas, if they get trapped, that we, we can get them back out. It's a bit worrying we haven't seen any anacondas yet. So far we've checked two of them and we haven't had any luck. So instead of an anaconda, we got a monster fish. It's got unbelievably sharp teeth. Okay, get back into the wild. Whoa! There he goes. What is that? What do we got? What do we got? Baby anaconda! Baby anaconda! Ah! <laughs> we find our anaconda. But where's the mum? Good find. Good eyes. <laughs> So we, we've got we got the baby anaconda um, here now. We're going to get a blood sample. In order to um, identify the species of snakes, you need to look at a number of different characteristics. So the scales and some blood samples to really prove what species it is, because there's three different species known here. We've got 300 ventral scales here. It doesn't match up with the scientific papers of the other species. So it could even be a new species of anaconda. One baby anaconda. First one we found is gonna set him set him free now into the river. Ah, <laughs> but because this is the baby, the mum must be around here somewhere. Anaconda! One of the fishermen, they found a big anaconda. We're gonna go there as quickly as possible to catch the snake, get the samples. Oh. 